Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are making a patio bowl with inexpensive items that we have around the house and in ponds nearby. If you look online, you'll see that patio bowls cost anywhere from $100 to $200 and upwards. And to me, that doesn't seem right. I wanna do this myself, I wanna make this myself, and I wanna make it my very own. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're making a patio bowl on a budget, and it's gonna be awesome. So, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna explain to you guys what each of these things do. The sand will act as our bottom, as our substrate. We have our pump over here. So act as our airflow, give the fish oxygen to breathe. These are all materials that will go along with that air pump. Right here, we have our patio bowl, which will hold the water. These right here will be our plants. These will be on the outside. There's plants in here that will be on the inside to make it look great. Here's our rocks. Our rocks will act as our infrastructure, which allows us to build a steady structure um, and give the patio bowl a more aesthetic look. So let's get started. First things first, when you make a patio bowl, you gotta start off with the sand. And all you need to do to prepare the sand is wash it out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in your bucket and let it overflow with water, let all the water get in there and wash all the dirt out because the dirt's gonna flow up while the sand will stay on the bottom. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna save you a lot of money. So first things first, this thing, three dollars. We'll put the sand in the bucket right here, our patio bowl, and I want you to make a nice layer on the bottom. Now while I'm talking, this patio bowl, this bowl right here, probably costs about fifteen dollars if I had to guess. Now this is just from a bowl that we had, an old flower pot that does not lose water when you put water in it. But as long as you get a nice sheet bowl that you think looks nice, then you're gonna be all set. As long as it doesn't have holes in the water in the bottom and it can uh, retain water, it should work just fine. So what you gotta do is you wanna put the sand in. You wanna spread it out to get to your thickness. We have the sand in there. Now it's time to build the structure, the rocks. When we do rocks, you're not gonna get everything perfectly. You first gotta start out and see what fits. So we have some rocks right here. There's, we're not gonna use all of them. And surely um, not all of them are gonna look good either. So we're gonna try this multiple times. We want, my goal is to make a ledge where we can put plants on top, like these grasses right here. They need to be out of the water a little bit. Whereas the plants in here need to have room where they're fully submerged. Okay, so we're gonna start off, we're gonna put the rocks in. So take this boat bad boy in there would be our base rock I'll put other rocks in here to make it fit and I'm gonna try to build up a little cave and a little incline I'm gonna need some add some cover on the bottom, add some plants on the outside, and I'm also gonna have to add I'm also gonna add an air pump because that's one of the most important features of this aquascape. It helps make some noise. It also helps to give the uh, animals uh, oxygen as they swim around in here. All right, with me I have the Tetra Whispered air pump. It's not sponsored, but it filters up, not filters, but it pushes air around for up to 10 gallons, and this is probably a five gallon bowl. So Tetra, if you want to sponsor me, hit me up, but this is not a sponsored thing. I just like it because I could price match it for probably around $15. Tubing you're gonna need. Um, we got some important parts here. I got the chuck valve, which is you're gonna also have to buy separately. It's very important in making sure that the water does not go back into this and cause it to catch on fire. Um, also, you have this, which controls um, how much water goes in and out. I also have some air stones as well. And these are what make the bubbles and help provide oxygen to your fish and animals. So, I'll show you how to put this together if you want. I'm sure there's a lot of other videos on YouTube about it. 
But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this, and this is, I've heard, a very reliable tool. So, let's get started. So first things first, you need to get your tubing and you need to cut a little piece off of it, right here. Get some scissors, and you gotta put that tubing on the air pump like that. Next, you need your little piece right here. This controls the amount of force. Um, you can dial it back using this little tool right here. So you're gonna wanna put that on there. Next, you're gonna wanna cut another little tube off of here. Good, how are you? You got a package for us? Yes, I do. DIY Ecosystems, you too. Hit me up. <laughs> guys, guys, you said you'd check it out. Yeah! Can you see this, Abe? Mm -hmm. This is very important you need to buy because it keeps the water from coming back and destroying your, whatchamacallit, your pump, your air pump. So there's an in and out button. If you blow on the in, it lets air, <laughs> that's, it lets air go through. The out, you can't blow through it. So that keeps the water from traveling up the tube and coming back into this. So that's why you cut that other piece and you put this on. Now that you have that all situated, you have, I have a lot of tubing, but this is gonna give me some room where I can stick it high between the rocks and finally get it to where I can hide the air stones where all you see is bubbles. So I'm gonna put this on the capsule and there we go. When I plug this in, it'll pump air and it'll allow the bubbles to form. So it's gonna really be helpful in making this aqua feature really awesome. Dude. I can't help it than that. Dude, the bugs are all over you. Okay, everything good? If you have any questions, you can leave some down in the comments or you can watch other YouTube videos out there. I really don't wanna make a whole video on just doing this because it's fairly simple and this is not what the video is about. We're making an aqua feature today. So, air stones, but I'm gonna put this tubing where I want to go and then I'll put these air stones in. So let's get to it. Okay, so now I've given myself some slack, some room to play with. So I don't have to, uh, so I don't make it too short because I can always cut it shorter. I'm going to cut it right here. I'm going to get an air stone. And these air stones just help to make more bubbles. That's their whole goal. So if I put the tube on the air stone, that's going to be perfect. Now what I want to do is I want to make this so it's not seen when I put it in here. Because who wants to see tubing and air stones in their aqua feature. You want it to look as natural as possible. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put it behind the rocks, and this is, might take a couple tries, but that's okay. I'm gonna put it behind the rocks. I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna put it down under there. And what I'm gonna do with those tall grassy plants is I'm gonna stick them around here, so hopefully you won't even see this tubing at all. And if you're really creative, and if you have the time and the resources, you could even cut a little notch in the sides and put this tubing in there. And we might do that later, might not, but as of now, it's just gonna hang over the side and we're gonna cover it up with plants. Boom, look at these plants. I rinsed them out because that might be really gross. I mean, it's from a pond. Actually, roll the clip. We're gonna see where we got these from so you can go find them yourselves. Okay guys, now we're gonna go get some hornwort from the pond and we're gonna get some plants for the patio bowl. This is one of the most fun parts where you just go out and you find some plants that you want to put in your creations. Hey, here it is, the butte. But here we are, it's beautiful. That's disgusting. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go over here. Oh, I forgot the shovel. It's okay. We'll use our hands. Anyway, here we are. Some plants here. Um, here's the gold, golden spot. You can see all the hornwort down. Oh, there's fish, dude. There's little fish. I can get them right now if I want to. We're gonna grab some hornwort, and we're gonna grab. Uh, you see this? I want you to look right here. My pointer stick. You see this grassy stuff? Well, it's not grass. It's growing in this marsh. So we're gonna put. We're gonna try putting this stuff in the patio bowl because it needs to be somewhere wet to grow. And I think patio bowl is gonna give it a good spot where it can flourish. Also gonna grab some hornwort, which is in here. This stuff. Oh, uh, we'll get stuff that doesn't have allergy on it, of course. We'll put that in there. If we can get some of this this stuff that doesn't look disgusting, we might get that too. And uh, we're just gonna go for it, so let's roll it. What a bunch of chumps. All right, we just got the plants and everything. We're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna start making this patio bowl. And, uh, we're gonna get it. Look at all these plants we got, dude. We got so many, so many. We might not even use all of them, but it's gonna be worth a shot. So many of my supporters out here. Look at them, my biggest supporters. This is what I get from them. Look at me, the hey. cameraman and the guy holding this thing. Okay, now that you saw where we got these from, here they are. We're gonna stick them in the patio bowl 
And I want to hide this tube like I mentioned, where we put the air stone. So I'm going to separate these out. It's going to take a little bit, but I'll arrange it to where I want to be. I'm going to add some more water, I'm going to put it in the corner, I'm going to turn on the air pump, get things moving and see how it turns out. Welcome back guys, it has been a whole week since we built this thing. I know it's like a millisecond for you, uh, but it's been a while for me and it's, I've given it time for it to clear up and it looks absolutely great. So I'm going to show you it right now and uh, I hope you are pleasantly surprised. I couldn't ask for anything better for spending $20 on a patio bowl. I mean, what I have going on here is I got some plants, some under some underwater plants over here so fish can hide in over here. I mean, you can see straight to the bottom. That's some open area for fish to swim around. You can actually see the fish. Of course, you got the beautiful floating plants here. You got the plants back there. Um, you got the uh, air pump notch that I made with the saw. Be careful, kids. Um, and of course, makes it look really, really natural. And so I can't wait to put a fish in here. I'm gonna put my beta in here. Um, she's been on the channel before and she's gonna come in here and live here for a while because I think she's gonna like it a lot. It's gonna give her a lot more room and she'll have a lot more natural insects to eat that fall into here. I could have broken the bank on this if I wanted to. I mean, you could spend $200, make this spectacular giant patio bowl with all the plants, the flowering plants, you know, lily pads, did everything. You know what? Not everyone has that kind of money. Not everyone wants to spend that kind of money, even if they have it. And you know what? All I did was buy the pump. Pa old flower pot, you could get some at garage sales. Plants, like I showed you, you can find in ponds. Rocks, you could find those around too. You could find those in rivers. You could find those probably a lot around your house. Sand? I'm sure a lot of you have sandbags in your house, your houses too, somewhere. Um, and even if you have to buy sand, it's like $3 or something like that. So guys, this is doable. Here we are, I got the beta and the patio bowl, and now I'm going to put the beta in the patio bowl into the new home. The temperature is acclimated. It's been a couple hours, and now the beta is gonna go into a new home. So let's do this. I have a fish. She is, she is excited. And she goes. There she is. Wow. Her colors really pop. Look at that blue. I think she's really gonna like this because she'll be able to get mosquitoes. She'll be able to eat, you know, any bug that comes to take a drink in the water. And uh, I'll still feed her pellets and stuff, but she'll have a healthier diet with these natural bugs and everything like that. I have a video out. Maybe it's out. I don't know. YouTube time is weird. Um, but she does love mosquito larvae. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out or it's coming soon. But uh, I think she'll, she'll like this. I'll keep checking on her, make sure she's doing all right and uh, pretty happy about it.
Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I did a step-by-step -step process and showed you how to make a DIY patio bowl. And really, it's not that hard. It just takes a little creativity, doesn't take a lot of money, and just takes a little bit of time. And you know what? It can be very rewarding, and I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. So this is Patio Bowl on a Budget. Subscribe, comment, like, or dislike. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, see ya.